Welcome to Whips in the Dungeon. When should you get your first bull whip? Well, I always recommend that a beginning whip thrower starts with a signal whip. And if you prefer horizontal style and you're gonna stick with horizontal style and then you want to move up to a bull whip, then I'm going to recommend that you talk to your whip maker about making a hybrid bull whip. Hybrid meaning that it still has a stiff handle, it has a thong, but the whip maker finishes it. Instead of having a fall, they finish it with the cracker plaited. Either finish it with an English eye so you can attach a cracker or plait the cracker right into the thong like you would finish a signal whip. So that way you can throw the bull whip horizontally and you don't have the fall being affected by gravity because there is no fall, it's finished like a signal whip. A lot of whip makers will call that a hybrid bull whip. Uh, there are other, hybrid's a funny term because there's other types of bull whips that have gotten that moniker. So I think of it as a bull whip that's finished like a signal whip or finished with an English eye. So that's what I would do if you're a horizontal thrower. If you throw overhand, then you want to migrate to a snake whip from the signal whip, which is what you started with. You want to migrate to a snake whip before you get your bull whip because the snake whip's going to allow you to learn how to roll out the fall and control the, the finish of the fall so that it finishes on target before you move up to your bull whip. Okay. And then that first bull whip probably should be a paracord just because of price. Uh, but by the, by the time you're ready for a bull whip, you might be be ready to jump into the world of kangaroo uh, and spend a little bit more money and get a nice kangaroo bull whip. So I don't ever recommend bull whips as your first whip. I stick with uh, recommending signal whips or dragon tails. Then that intermediate whip that you want to pick up if you're an overhand thrower is to pick up a snake whip to learn how to control the fall before you make the leap to the bull whip. The bull whip is the ultimate dungeon whip because I can throw it accurately on target with very little effort on my part. And still deliver a lot of energy to uh, the whip catcher. As always, thanks for watching Whips in the Dungeon. Leave an appropriate comment. Tell me what you think and, uh, and ring the bell so you get notifications when I put up a new video.